16.9D, compound fractions, negative exponents. Recall that 5x minus 3 is equal to 5 over x cubed. And so what that means for us is that when we're looking for the LCD and we have negative exponents, we're going to look for the highest exponent, remembering that the negative is in the denominator. So if we have x to the negative 2, y to the negative 1, that means the LCD would be x squared y. If there's any pluses or minuses in there, we can't just move the terms, meaning that we can't do this right here. Instead, um, we um, multiply by the LCD to get rid of the negative exponents. So in example one here, our highest exponent looks like to be um, 2, so then our LCD then would be x squared. So we're going to multiply this by x squared and this by x squared. So we have 1 times x squared, which gives us x squared plus 10, and then we're going to do 2 minus 1, which would give us 1, that leaves us with 1x, plus 25, we have 2 minus 2, which would be 0, so that means we do not have any variable for our 25, 25. so now we do this to the denominator, so we're going to get x squared minus 25, Again, we have 2 minus 2, which would be 0, so we do not have a variable there. The top is a perfect square trinomial, so we have x plus 5, x plus 5. The denominator is a difference of squares, so we have x plus 5, x minus 5. Oops, that was supposed to be minus. Take out the common factor we get x plus 5 all over x minus 5. Let's look at our second example. I notice that I have a's and I have b's. Looks like our highest exponent for our a's is going to be 3 and for our b's is also going to be 3. So we'll have b cubed here. So we're going to multiply by a cubed, b cubed, and the same here. So we have an 8, 3 minus 3, well actually we have a cubed because we don't have any a's there, so we have 3 minus 3 which would give us 0, so we don't have any b's there, sorry. And then we have 27, 3 minus 3 is 0, so no a's, but that leaves us with a b cubed. And then for the denominator, we have 4. 3 minus 1 is 2, so leaving us with 2 a's. 3 minus 3 is 0, so we have no b's. Minus 6, we have 3 minus 2, which leaves us 1a. And 3 minus 2, which leaves us 1b. Plus 9. 3 minus 3 is 0, so no a's, and 3 minus 1 is 2, so that leaves us with 2 b's. Up top we have cubics, so the base of two, 8 is 2 and the base of 27 is 3, so we're going to get 2a plus 3b. Now we'll square the first term. So we get 4a squared, opposite sign, 6ab, square the last term, which gives us 9b squared, and this will all be over 4a squared. Now again, we're all over 4a squared minus 6ab plus 9b squared, so our common factor here is the 4a squared minus the 6ab plus 9b squared, leaving us with 2a plus 3b, 
and we're done.